New developments are taking place in the war every day. The Ukrainian army is having success in the war and does not want to make a deal with the Russians. Mikhail Podolyak, chief advisor to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, admitted over the weekend that Kiev is not interested in negotiating with Russia. The presidential advisor's remarks came after reports that the White House was pressuring Kiev to express its willingness to negotiate with the Kremlin, even if those talks don't start anytime soon. It is kind of strange to get offers like, you can't do everything by military means anyway, you have to negotiate. When you have the initiative on the battlefield, Pololiak said. Pololiak suggested that the negotiations at this stage, when the Russian troops withdrew from Kherson and started to strengthen the Crimean Peninsula, would allow Russia to take back the lost lands. Podolyak said negotiating now would mean surrendering to a losing country. This official announced this week that only the Ukrainian president could decide to restart peace talks with Russia. Kiev received de facto approval from the White House to refuse talks. We also said that if and when Zelensky is ready for negotiations, he will decide on the nature of those negotiations, the US official said. He added that the U.S. did not pressure Kiev to return to the negotiating table. Podolyak not only refused any new talks with Russia, but also openly called for more military assistance. According to presidential advisor, Ukrainian forces need up to 200 new tanks, 300 additional armored vehicles, and 100 additional artillery systems. To reach all the actual news fast and reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.